Hey guys, so I'm back from Thailand. KCON was literally the craziest week of my life. Don't even get me started. The vlog will be coming soon, but all I've done the past couple of days is sleep and and I'm still tired. But I'm not allowed to be tired for this because Super M dropped their debut hours ago. I actually thought this was coming out in 15 minutes, but it turns out it came out <laughs> nearly five hours ago, so Nice one, Lexi, good job. So for those of you that have been living under a rock, Super M are SM's new Avengers group. Basically, it just has um, members from every boy group that SM has, pretty much, minus like, you know, DVXQ, Super Junior. And I've been super, super hyped for that. There's been a lot of mixed opinions on Super M, but personally, I'm really here for it. I mean, taman has got to have something whilst the rest of his members are in the military. But I'm really hyped. Uh, it's a lot of my favourite groups. You guys know that I think that Ten and Taemin are the best dancers male-wise in the K-pop industry, particularly Taemin. So the dance line of this group is hecking strong. And the teasers for this, man, the individual teasers were beautiful. And the group teaser looked like a freaking movie. So I'm ready to watch this. I don't know who my bias is going to be. Kai is my bias in EXO. But who knows anymore? Let's watch it. This looks like a whole ass movie, man! Wow. The vocals in this group too, man. Big Yan. I seen lots of theories about Taemin being the one like running the show. <laughs> the visual pen. Super M. This is like Hunger Games meets Star Wars, huh? Meets Tron. Oh, 3D, isn't it? This is gonna go hard, man. Wow, this has like a movie soundtrack. Oh. used to be my old bias. Ten dropping in English! I wasn't ready for this! Sorry, I'm really not ready for this! Dickens voice is so sexy. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot what I was completely- Taemin, come on! So I completely forgot what I was saying now. Yeah, it sounds like something from a movie. Like a movie soundtrack. Wow, Lucas is so good looking. Jesus, this is such a visually strong, like... Wow, this crocodile is going to be insane, isn't it? I don't know why I'm so surprised that it's all going to be that it's all in English. Wow, the charisma that this group holds, the stage presence, the dance line. Oh, okay, I'm so. This is... I, I'm so shocked, I don't know why. Best dancer in the cable industry, don't at me, don't at me. It's got so many different stuff, it's like... It's got like the flavour of each group that each member's from is in there. Oh, I love this. Centre tail, let's get it. Wow. It's so like powerful. Yes, Taemin's voice is honey. Oh, there is some Korean in there, okay. I'm glad there is some Korean in there, so they're not completely westernized. Let's just... Oh. You ad lib sis! This chorus just hits so different. Wow. If I listen to this walking down the street, I'd feel like the baddest bitch going. 
Kai in that outfit, man. That's iconic. I'm so... Wow! Take a minute, thank you. I'm doing high notes because there's nothing I've ever done in it! Wow, Lucas, man. I can't present my biases. Yes, Tim! I was just about to say, where's Tim? Oh, man. This has got everything. This has got everything. I just, I stand. Wow. Oh man. Oh. I think I just had an out of body experience. I don't know why I'm so shocked at how like insane that was. Because why wouldn't it be? Okay, we'll start with the aesthetic. Obviously, it looked like it was straight out of damn movie. I love the different aesthetics they had going. Like I said, it was literally like Hunger Games meets Star Wars meets Tron meets Spy Kids and I am so here for that. Like it was a really cool aesthetic, something quite new. There's something about the way it was filmed that seemed very like unique, um, but it was still very distinctively SM in a weird way. The outfits, stylist for once, you haven't done anyone dirty, at least from what I could see. Then again, I was so distracted by how good looking they all are. You could have put them in a paper bag and I still would have been saying the same thing, so. I said during it that I felt like the song itself Somehow my shirt incorporate the styles of each of the groups in a really strange way. Like it was really cool because obviously Shiny tend to have a more quirky R and B sound. I feel was very clear in there. Uh, NCT is very strong and powerful with their rap lines. Um, EXO just have a kind of sensual vibe about them, but I feel like the song suited them as a group. But it was still unique to them. Like it had elements of Shiny, elements of EXO, elements of NCT in there, but it was still new, still super M, which I really, really liked. Man, their visuals just attacked me left, right and centre. Like, I think I forgot, I don't know how I could forget, how good looking they all are. I felt that. But as the song itself, I absolutely vibed it. Like I said, it, it sounded like something from a movie soundtrack, but still calmed down and built up to something. So that chorus hit hard every single time. But again, I just like to say the visuals, the visuals and the visuals. For the song itself, I'm definitely gonna listen to. I can't wait for the rest to listen to the rest of this album. I feel like it's gonna slap. And that dance break at the end with Ted. Oh, man's knew what I needed. The high notes with Taemin and Baekhyun. Just, it, this had everything. I felt like it really showed off the high, uh, the best qualities of each member very, very well. And I'm so here for it. We stand. Blue. So yeah, that was my reaction to Super M's dropping. If you enjoyed, be sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. There are going to be so many videos coming your way. There are so many boy groups debuting. And I've got so much content from KCON to share with you guys. So be sure to be subscribed and have the notifications on to catch all of that. Um, all of my social media will be in the description. I will see you in my next video. Bye.